Hi, I'm Josh Finn from j &H Aerospace. No doubt you're familiar with this aircraft. This is the, the Switchblade S. It's kind of been our flagship product. It was the, the first model airplane kit I personally ever, uh, ever produced. And it's a very good, reliable airplane. These build light and, and aerodynamically clean and have the, the cool swing wing feature. Uh, the mechanism is, is very simple and straightforward. Um, the kind of the downfall of this, though, is that these are pretty difficult for us to produce because you've got this wire saddle right here that comes through, and the alignment of all that is, is very, very critical. Uh, the other thing is you've got this Kevlar line that the end user has to, has to tie in there, and, and that, that makes for a somewhat complicated uh, setup to get it right. It's, if, if you don't get the tension right, um, these can have, have some little uh, problems. And the other is uh, this, um, this thread does have a limited life expectancy and after it's gone, well, you lose your nose cone. Um, and, and that's not to say this is a bad aircraft. These, these are very reliable. We've gotten good reviews on them from customers. Uh, they, they really enjoy these. But we wanted to develop something um, that would improve on that. So this is the new flip lock. Uh, this is the first prototype of it. Um, we built it a little heavier, and we're going to end up lightening that up eventually. We have not flown this yet, so you're going you're gonna to see the footage uh, right from the very beginning, and it could be very interesting at first. So the, the issue is we have this camped in our, uh, in our um, saddle for these, uh, for these switch blades that gives us our dihedral. Since these... Uh, wings have a single pivot, you can't get that the same way. So we have this, essentially this bent fuselage that allows us to correct for that. So our dihedral angle is correct, is factored in right here. If you notice the, the tail plane is off at a different angle. Um, we've got a, an offset on the, uh, on the engine and so on. This system uses a locking uh, clip back here that, um, that when the ejection charge fires, We've got this rail that the, uh, that the nose cone slides on, and so you get that. And I'll show you this from a slightly different angle. Um, there you go. And there we go. Um, so from this angle, it fires forward like that. Uh, very, very, um, very strong linkage very robust and um, because the way it's designed we have our, our dihedral in there all the alignments are, are very straightforward so it's less sensitive to errors in the uh, construction process and so on there are no cables or anything the only flexible uh, disposable if you will part is the, uh, the rubber band that, that swings your wings open um, the tension on this is much less critical than it is on these these you have to balance the tension to the uh, to that line going up to the nose because there's got to be some flex in the nose. We've done away with that on, on this system, so this this is a much more robust aircraft. Um, like I said, it's a little heavier. I beefed it up um, and and decided I've gone a little too far on that. So the so this you know this is the first prototype, and we're going to work on lightening them up uh, in the future. So. Um, what I do know, it glides nicely. Um, not, you know, nothing exceptional, but it's, it's a good glider on, on par with, with these. So uh, we're good there. I don't know what the al launch altitude is going to look like. I mean, the fact is um, that everything is on the way up on the switch blades. Let me show you here. I'm still getting used to, to this. I'm so used to the other way of rigging these. On the way up, Everything is streamlined on, on these, so they launch incredibly straight. On this, you know, you've got different angles that you're, you're trying to balance. So this is off at this angle, the wings are up at this other angle, there's a hook to them. So I, I really don't know what the impact of that's going to be. We had, I built one of these that um, the, the dihedral brakes were actually hinged so they would go flat, and it launched just unbelievably straight. Um, even more so than these, but it had some some other issues uh, that basically meant that it, if you did a shoulder height glide, it would it would glide incredibly well, um, and it had more wing area than this, and yet launched higher. Um, 
the problem came in with if it had any excess speed at all at the point the wings unfolded, they would flex excessively and you'd get this death spiral into the ground. Um, so I, that one for years has sat as an example of what not to do, even though it's just this elegant, beautiful thing. Uh, hopefully we've corrected that here. So we're about to launch this for the first time. Come along with us and uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so we're uh, out here with it all set up. It is windy. You guys, don't maiden your rockets in, in windy weather like this. We're, gonna, we're going first on a 1 half A3 2T and we'll see how it goes. So, uh, got our launch controller here. Let's see how all this goes. All right, we've got continuity, we've got a calm spell going in five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was high, higher than expected, and a good transition. Stay away from the trees. And it is very turbulent. Stay away from the trees, you stupid thing. Stay out of there. No, nope, going for the trees, not going for the trees, sorta. Sort of. It's kind of like it's in a patch of semi buoyant air. This is not half bad. It's coming back to us. So, a little bit nose heavy. It's mainly just the, the turbulence, though. Bonk. Alright. Okay, so I'm walking over here to uh, to retrieve it. Let's see exactly what uh, what goes on, because uh, we want to see if uh, the nose cone has bent a whole lot or anything. Uh, to see where all this leaves us. So let's see here. So we've got a little bit of bit of burn mark there. Um, looks like it has stayed straight. Let's see that. Um, so bend that back out. All right. So no deformation along here. It's a very important factor. It's a little bit of burn mark on the wing. We'll space the um, motor tube out a little bit to reduce that. Um, importantly, come on, focus. Focus, there we go. No burning of the uh, bearing. Whole mechanism looks good. So yeah, excellent. Um, all we gotta do, all we gotta do is reduce that uh, that weather cocking that you saw in the at the launch there. Um, because it, it pitched over quite a bit. Um, not bad altitude for a one half A on a fairly stout looking uh, rocket, but um, yeah, looks good. We're gonna put it up on a, an A10 3T and we'll see how much higher it goes. See you in a minute. We got the uh, engine loaded on there, or no issues. A little bit of sit build up inside the, um, the engine pod, which eh, that's, that's to be expected. So uh, everything looks good. So here we go for round two. So this is on an Estes. A10 3T. We have continuity. You got a calm spell going in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, that was high and lots of arcing over. That's disappointing. And we're stalling. We're going into Treeville over there. It's windy. This is to be expected. It's going to land in that oak tree right there. That's okay. All right, so uh, yeah, that was that's kind of be expected. It's not perfect. Um, we'll get it down in a little bit. Uh, it's windy out here. Not good weather for all this, but uh, yeah, it looks good. We got a few things to to work out, and then it, then it should be an excellent rocket. See y'all. I got it back. Um, don't think it's supposed to look like that. Maybe we should call it Firebird. I don't know. Um, also. Uh, if you notice, let's see, yeah, focus, focus, there it is, yeah, burned out the end of that tube, um, that's a little harder problem to solve, and I don't really know the answer to it, we may put some relief holes to kind of reduce that somewhat, but, uh, I don't know, these, uh, these white tubes are a little variable on quality, and on aircraft like this, sometimes there's some issues with them, so, um, yeah, you may have to supply these with the Estes tubes. Other thing is these A10 engines look phenomenally dirty, and that's that's what you're seeing. Here is frankly that should not be happening. No, 
none of that should have been happening. Um, maybe an old batch of engines, I don't know, I'm expecting it was spewing some um, actual burning chunks of propellant out the back. Just, that's just get your act together, really. Ugh. Anyway, I want to show you this just to demonstrate. In spite of all that, let's see here. Yeah, that wasn't so great. Let's see if we can do it again. It actually does glide phenomenally well. Yeah, see that? You know, got a few issues. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, easy solution to this, we're gonna raise the uh, the pot up about uh, half an inch. That problem will go away completely. But uh, yeah, fun times. <laughs>